Hello everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a lipstick collection. I'm really sorry, I haven't uploaded in like four weeks, maybe three, I'm not too sure. But I haven't uploaded in ages, I'm really sorry, I was kind of debating whether I was going to continue doing YouTube or not. Because I have my year nine exams starting on Monday and I had so much revision to do. And it was just a lot trying to film YouTube videos as well. So I was having a big debate whether to do YouTube or not. And I asked quite a lot of people at my school and they said to not stop doing it. So I've decided to carry on. And also I forgot how much I loved filming YouTube videos. And I want to carry them on because I know you guys really like them as well. So today I'm going to be filming a lipstick collection as I said. And I am filming on my phone today. You might not be able to notice a difference. But I think there is a little bit of a difference because I got a new phone, I got an iPhone 6S and I think it is a bit better quality than my um, iPad but I will be still editing on my iPad on iMovie and yeah I just thought I would do a lipstick collection as um, when I did my MAC, not my MAC lipstick collection, when I did my makeup collection um, uh, I said that I might be doing a lipstick collection so I'm finally going to be doing that after what seems like forever. And yeah, let's just get started. So here are my lipsticks. And if you want to see what are in my other drawers, like if you want me to do a makeup collection, then let me know in the comments down below. And I have already done a MAC lipstick collection. So if you want to go see that, then check it out. But I'm going to start over here. All my containers are from, I think some of them are from TK Maxx. And one of them is from Muji. So yeah, I'm just going to start here. So the first lipstick I have is from NYX. And it's just a really nice purple shade in the colour Aria. Which is really similar to Rebel. This is the Rimmel Kate Moss lipstick in 107. Which is a red. Also, the reason I'm doing a lipstick collection is because I always find it so annoying when people show their lipsticks in a makeup collection. But then don't go into depth about them. So that's why I decided to do one. Anyway, let's just carry on. So here I have two Revlon lip butters. This one is in Sweet Tart, which is a pinky colour. It's really nice and these are really moisturising and just give you a little bit of colour. And then I also have one in Candy Apple, which is a red, which is also really nice. Matches my nails. I'm sorry about this black thing on my nail as well. Someone drew on my finger at school. <laughs> and then I have this lipstick from Milani and it's in the shame Flamingo Pose. And you can't get, get Milani in the UK, which is really annoying. But this is a really nice pinky reddish colour. It's really good for summer. And I ordered this off Amazon and it wasn't actually too expensive. And then here I have the L'Oreal Eva's Nude, which is a matte purple and it is such a nice colour for the autumn time. Okay, now onto this row. This is just another red from L'Oreal. Then I have 05 from um, Rimmel and it's a little bit squished, but it's just a kind of sparkly pink colour which I don't really wear that much. So here I have four of the Revlon Lustrous lipsticks. I just want to talk about this one really quickly because it is so bad. It's in the shade Carnival Spirit and you look at it like that and you're like oh that's going to be a really nice colour like really good for summertime. You swatch it and it looks shit basically. So yeah don't recommend that colour. So next I have um, this one in Soft Silver Rose which is really nice. It's like a shimmery pink, kind of similar to this lipstick here. Um, and then I have this matte one in the shade Pink in the Afternoon, which is my favourite nude. It's so, so, so nice. And then I have this purple one in Wild Orchid, which I'm not too much of a fan of because if you can see, it's kind of shimmery and I prefer more like matte purples. But yeah, that's still a really nice colour. I have this one from e.l.f. which I got in New York and it is in the shade doesn't say oh no ravishing rose and these were like two pounds which is so good and it is a really 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 pretty color it looks kind of pink but it comes out a really nice red shade which is so nice and it's a really unique color then i have this one which is coral tonic from maybelline new york it looks like the carnival spirit one but when you swatch this one it actually looks like that so i'm just gonna swatch it for you guys if you can see it looks so nice. I just dropped the lid. <laughs> um, and then I have this one from Essence, which I got in Wilco's, which is actually quite good, seeing as it was literally like $1.99. It's just a nude colour. Then I have two MUA ones. This one's in red, and this one's in a pink. They were both £1, and they're actually really good for being £1. Then I have this bourgeois one, which is in graffiti, fuchsia graffiti, which is a bright pinky purple. Here I have a few of the L'Oreal lip gloss, lip 
glosses the glam shine lip glosses so i have this shade and these are like my favorite lip glosses i don't use any other lip glosses basically and then i have a dark one i have that same one again and then i have this purplier color which i really don't like but i still have it and then i have this lipstick from number seven which is a purple which is really nice for autumn time and i have this barry m lipstick in a bright pinky purple shade so here are all my baby lips and like eos and lip balms and stuff like that so here i have a calvin klein um what is this lip gloss in pink sheen i've actually never used this before but my auntie gave it to me so there's that and then I have this Nivea lip butter, which is so good if you have dry lips. Um, and then I'm just going to show you my baby lips because I have quite a few. So the things I don't have that are baby lips are this Bl Blistex Lip Brilliance Lip Balm. It's actually a really nice colour and if you just want a bit of colour on your lips, it's perfect. And then I just have this J2O Glitterberry Lip Balm there. And then for my baby lips, I have three Electros. I actually have another one, hang on. One of them was on my bedside table, but I also have this Electro. This is in the shade Striker Rose, and it's just a pink. I love the Electro ones, they're like my favorite ones out of the whole collection. And then the other Electros I have are Pink Shock, um, O Orange, and Berry Bomb. And then I have the normal range, which is Cherry Me, um, Intense Care, hydrate and mint fresh oh also pink punch and peach kiss and then i have three of the dr rescues this one is in the shade where is it very soft i really like these ones they smell kind of like tea tree oil and they really help to moisturize your lips and this one's in the shade too cool and this is probably something to do with coral just peachy um my favorite ones is probably the electros as i said and the doctor rescue ones and um, these ones i don't really find that moisturizing more like to give more color and then i have this christmas one as well which is in the shade sweet apple which smells like smells like christmas basically oh yeah i forgot this one i also have a limited edition one in cherry velvet which is really good and then towards the side here, I have some EOS. So I have this pink one. I think this is in strawberry. I can't remember the shades because I got them quite a long time ago. But to be honest, I think they're a bit of a ripoff. In Urban Outfitters, they're like six pounds. I don't even think they're that moisturizing. So I don't really use these and I really don't recommend them. Um, this is in like, let me just smell it, see if I can remember the scent. I honestly don't know, but it smells pretty grim. Um, and then this one's in the mint shade. Let me just smell it actually smells quite nice it smells like mint ice cream which is good because i love mint ice cream and then i also have a balmy which i got from top shop and i have the zoella kissy missy lip balm there as well so at the back here in this muji um container i have more like chubby sticks and stuff like that so i have these ones from be vibrant which are actually awful they're so bad so i'm not even gonna show the shows because they're that awful i have this revlon color burst lipstick lip balm and it's a matte balm in the shade it's in the shade elusive um i have an essence lip liner to go with this essence lipstick and they work really well together oh <laughs> and this one's in the shade i think it's in the shade make me a rose wish me a rose i have a rimmel color Bur color rush lip balm in a purple shade i have a 17 lip crayon which isn't a really horrible like shimmery pink sh so shimmery red shade if you can see i don't really like that i have a Too faced color bomb moisturizing plumping lip tint which i got from tk maxx for like seven pounds and they're normally like 17 so that's really good and it's just a nude color and it makes your lips tingle which is really weird um i have this kiko lipstick which is actually broken so i'm not going to open it but it's got really cool packaging um and i didn't have any room in my normal lipstick holder so i just put it in there i have this nyx matte lip cream which is so good and it's in the shade cans and it dries matte and it's amazing i love it i have this rimmel apocalypse i have a model's own red lip chubby balm thing i have this urban decay red lip liner i have this lip liner from rimmel london in the shade spice 
I have this Barry M lip gloss in the sh lip boss. I'm not sure what shade it's in, but this smells really good. It smells like it smells like strawberries. It smells amazing. I have this um, color drama from Maybelline in a purple shade. It's a really good lip liner for Rebel. I have this lip um, gloss from Benefit, and it's the mini sugar bomb one, which I got in a set. I have this clear lip gloss from. I think this is from Limited Collection, which is a brand you can get in M&S, and this is actually really nice to put over lipsticks to just give them a bit of a shine. I have two of the MUA Lux um, London lipsticks, um, one in a red shade and one in an orange shade. These are really nice, apart from when you want to eat, because you like basically eat them off, and it creates a really horrible line around your lips, but if you don't want to eat, then these are great. And then the last one that I have is a Revlon Color Burst Matte Cream in the shade... Adocious. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, then don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up and sorry about this it's from the video. And um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. Uh, that would be really appreciated. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.